most obvious differences between playing RE4 in VR and on console is the shift in perspective and interactivity. Only on Quest 2 will you be able to play RE4 from Leon's first-person perspective. And the touch controllers will allow you to interact with the world in a fundamentally new way from how it's played on console. For example, items and weapons have been re-engineered to become physical objects that players can interact with so that you can pick up things like ammo, keys, and treasures, as well as load, aim, and fire weapons in VR. You'll also be able to switch weapons by grabbing them off your body instead of going into a menu. And you can wield separate weapons with each hand. Even RE4's famous menu is no longer a pause screen. It's an interactive tool. A ton of effort has gone into making weapon interactions smooth, satisfying, and responsive, including two-handed weapons like shotguns and rifles. Let's talk about the movement system now. We didn't want the shift from third to first person to change the fundamental way Leon moves or collides with the world. You'll still move in first person by using the analog stick, but Armature has added a full upper body rig on top of Leon's character to combine his movement with the dual-handed interactivity achieved with touch controllers. If you don't want to use the analog stick to move freely, Armature even added support for teleportation, as well as room scale movement so that you can explore the environment with natural motion. And of course, one of our top priorities is to ensure the experience is comfortably played while seated and with a ton of comfort options at your disposal to try out. As I mentioned earlier, RE4 debuted on GameCube 16 years ago. So you might be wondering, how in the world are we bringing the core systems from the original over to Quest 2? Well, first, it takes passion. The teams at Oculus Studios, Armature, and Capcom are all longtime fans of the game who are accepting only the best results. And it takes time. We've been working on this title for a couple years now and just carefully and reverently making changes that will make your experience feel both fresh and nostalgic. Technically speaking, Armature is using core systems from the original RE4 to drive gameplay and systems, but they've playing? remastered art. Over 4,500 textures have either been repainted or up -rezzed. World geometry has been adjusted to work in stereoscopic 3D. And enemy behaviors and attacks have been balanced around the player's new perspective to increase mobility in VR. They've also improved support for running the game at a higher frame rate than the original 30 frames per second and fixed many bugs that the 60 FPS versions of the game had. Now, while Armature has adjusted a number of things for VR, some things just haven't needed to change. Character animations have been faithfully converted to Unreal Engine 4 and remain untouched from the original source material. And all cutscenes will be presented in their original format. If you're a fan of the survival horror genre like me, you've likely played, or tried to play, a lot of scary games in VR. Now, RE4 isn't known for being the scariest in the Resident Evil franchise, but it is scarier and more suspenseful in VR thanks to spatial audio and immersive interactivity. Armature has manipulated aspects of the original RE4 audio data and have used it instead as 3D spatial sound. So when you hear noises like crows, voices, and creaks, you're going to want to turn your head to see if there's a threat. They've also made sure that audio telegraphs from enemies to indicate which direction they're attacking from. So where on console, you might have heard a Ganado approaching and rather calmly press buttons to reload and prepare a takedown. In VR, you're checking your ammo, you're scrambling to load a mag. And if you drop it, you're only adding to the stress and suspense of the situation by needing to physically correct your mistakes. You'll be living in the moment, carefully tracking ammo and inventory, relying on your senses for success more than you've ever done before. I'll leave you with this. A huge part of the RE4 fame was the elaborate cinematics that sell and tell the story. But once you come out of a cinematic in VR and find yourself face to face with the boss, the experience is totally different. I could talk for a lot longer about this game, 
But we've got to move on because there is more to share today. But stay tuned for more Resident Evil 4 updates in the lead up to its launch on Quest 2 later this year.